26. Birthday is on Monday. And um, I live in Daniloquin, so I live in a rural country area. And I grew up in the city, but I've lived here for about 12 years now, so I consider myself pretty part of the <laughs> country life. But, um, I struggled a lot with mental stuff when I was younger, so my work was really dark and reflected a lot of that. And as I got older, I had an injury, I couldn't do art for a while, and I don't know, it was hard. I felt very detached from that like side of myself. I couldn't sit there and work on a piece for like five hours because I couldn't, I just physically couldn't do it. So I'd have to work for an hour and step away and leave it. And that was really hard for me because I was always just smash it out, finish the piece. And I was never happy with my work because of that. I rushed through it and now I actually make work that I'm happy with. So I think that helped me in a way. I don't think I would have learned to do that or it would have taken me a lot longer to learn to take that time. Whether it's been conscious or not, I always have strived to have really flat, solid images with strong line work. And I think that's basically, at the moment, that's my biggest goal is to just keep pushing and see how far I can push myself when it comes to really solid color with traditional work instead of, because I don't work with digital mediums really at all. I mainly work with like these two are acrylics and that one up the top is acrylic but these ones are all watercolor and gouache so like you don't often get really solid solid colors with that the gouache helps it's a lot more opaque and it's thicker so the combination of the two gives me a lot more like strength into my pieces if you're going to yeah, experiment with a new medium and it's something usually it's probably something that's completely out of your comfort zone so don't be afraid of it, but take your time and give yourself some, yeah, be patient because it's not going to happen overnight. You need to really give yourself a chance to work with it and figure out how to use the medium. Maybe. And it took a, some big leaps when I learned to step back and take my time because I would, I'd just get frustrated with a piece because I'd spend so many hours working on it and then I hate it. I think in the back of my mind, I was like, why didn't I just step away and leave it and come back tomorrow and do it? I would have finished it and I would have been much happier with it and now I've ruined it. So taking the time to, even some days I'll just do the sketch and I start to get tired and I think I'm not going to push myself and start laying down paint. I'll do that tomorrow. And I've been so much happier with my work. I hear it a lot when people see my work and or I see them look at other people's work. They'll show me something that they love. They're like, look at what this artist did. I could never do something like that. I hear that sentence all the time. And I sympathize, but it frustrates me as well because if you say that, you are instantly limiting yourself. You need to have some faith in yourself. I think because if you don't try you will get yeah, you of course you're never going to be able to do that because you need to try and I think it took me years years and years of practicing and really loving what I did and even though I was frustrated and I'd constantly made work that I wasn't happy with I had the passion for it which is important as well you can't just want to do it do it and get sick of it and give up. You have to have that passion. If you don't have the passion, it probably maybe isn't for you, try something else. You can still be creative, but maybe it's painting's not for you. Maybe it's clay work or carpentry or building, sewing. Like there's heaps of different ways you can be creative. Just find your feet.